Hi, it's Melissa Kay, and I am back with part three of my hair care routine, my wash routine. Um, please click on the like button. Don't forget to like the other videos that I did, um, especially those the last two hair care videos. Please like the video, even if you're not gonna watch it all, you just give me a thumbs up because that will actually help us to get suggested more in the algorithms. So people that may be interested in these videos can find them easy. Um, so I washed the conditioner out and the conditioner has been, um, I actually left it in my hair longer than what I usually do. Um, I left it in my hair for about five to six hours. Um, I started sweating and once, <laughs> once I start sweating, I know it's time to like wash it out because the, sometimes the product can run and it just, and yet, you know, it starts to feel kind of nasty on your neck and stuff. So I was like, okay, time to wash the conditioner out. And my hair feels really good though. It's really conditioned. Um, you know, uh, it just feels soft and everything is soft everywhere. And what I like to do is before, you know, I just dried it, towel dried it with this towel. Um, and um, my hair dries pretty fast. So I like to kind of work with it while it's damp, okay? So uh, after I wash my conditioner out, I always put in a leave-in conditioner. This conditioner is as I am. It's the classic kind. Um, it has lots of good things in there for the hair. It has like coconut, sugar beetroots, green tea, something called amla, lemon, apple, sugar cane, phytosterols, and soft palmetto. Um, so I like this. Um, I've kind of been buying different leave-in conditioners and this is my second time buying this so I'm, I feel like the way this feels in my hair and uh, I feel like it detangles my hair good too so what I'm gonna do is just kind of run this through my hair. This is the consistency in it because the camera is kind of high. Okay, so I'm not going to do my um, Mohawk style today. That's my style, that's like my number one go-to style. Um, but it requires a lot of, I do flat twist Mohawk, not braided Mohawks because um, my hair is kind of, I have kind of, um, I wanna say like fine hair, kind of, and it can't take a lot of pulling. So sometimes, so the pulling with the braiding, the cornrow braid, sometimes will kind of thin my hair out or even take my hair out, especially if it's too tight. So I just do, I notice like the flat twist styles work better for me than the braids. So I do more flat twist style now. Um, and that helps my hair to grow and stuff. But also I notice when I do that, because I do, like I said, a lot of mohawk styles and um, it thins my hair out when I keep redoing it, redoing it. So I like to give it a break sometimes. Basically, I'm gonna probably um, have this style for the next maybe week or two. I'll just see how I feel. So the style I'm gonna do is, I'm actually just gonna leave my hair out um, and I'm gonna twist it up pretty much and let it set. And then I'm gonna untwist it and just let it be out completely like a full afro, but it'll just have more curl definition. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to, let me show you the products I'm going to use on my hair. I'm going to use this product by Shea Moistures. It's called Curl Stretch Pudding. And this product is really good because um, it does what it says on my hair. Um, it has uh, flaxseed oil and the main ingredients is cocoa butter, red palm oil, and flaxseed oil. So this is what I'm gonna use to achieve my style. And I'm going to rub a little bit of this Blueberry Bliss on the, um, just on the shaft after. And I'm going to use a little bit of beeswax on my ends, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So I have the big comb, and like I said, I don't really comb my hair a lot, really, you know? Um, 
but I'm gonna do a bang. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just basically do twist, not braid out. So I'm gonna do a twist out. I was trying to remember the name, I haven't done it in a while. <laughs> so I'm just doing parts. I'm gonna do a bang real quick. I need a rat tail comb. I lost my rat tail I haven't seen it in so long um, because it's much easier to use when you're doing, um, you know, when you want to just do quick parts. The rat tail comb is much easier to use. I'm looking through the mirror. You guys can't see the mirror, but that's what I'm looking through right now just to make sure I got this down. I don't, I'm not really trying to get like the most perfect um, part or whatever, but just a little bit decent, you know? Okay, so, and what I'm going to do is with my other here, I'm gonna just kind of put it back in a ponytail kind of, let's see. I have this big band here. So I'll just put it, just wrap it like this one time, two times maybe. <laughs> all right, so, all right, so that's my bangs here. I'm just gonna comb it a little bit on the ends. This is probably gonna be like the only time I comb my hair so I wash it again. All right, so I'm just gonna do flat twist in the front. This is the Curl Stretch Pudding by Shea Moisture. That's what it looks like. That's the consistency, all right? Put my hair, I'm gonna start from the root, like that. Remember, this is Curl Stretch Cream, and I, what I do is I rub, and a little goes a long way with this, but I tend to overuse it sometimes. I just rub it down the hair shaft or up the hair shaft like that. All right. And then what I do is I dip my hair, my hand in the beeswax. This is the beeswax right here. And I just rub my ends, kind of like my ends with it. Like that. It helps to like flatten my ends really good and moisturize it. I feel like it protects my ends as well. All right, and then I'm gonna do two strand twists like that. It's gonna look kind of like cornrows when I'm done, but just twist instead. And I'm doing it flat on the scalp, just like that. done with the twisted part okay and then what I do with the blueberry bliss I finally got this product guys after so many years because I've got it on sale and I really like it um, I get a lot of compliments on the smell people think um, I smell so good when I use it but they don't realize my hair product they think it's perfume so what I'd like to do with this is just kind of rub the twist down with it and that's it. Then I move on to the next one. Now this part where I rub the twist down, I use different products. 
Um, I like to use another twist gel, it's the Lock and Twist Gel by ORS. And I used to use that a lot um, when I had locks. But I realized it actually works good in my natural hair too because it helps to like set the hair and make it like last um, for a little bit longer. All right. And what I'm gonna do is let me just do. Cause I don't have my I don't have the right comb. I don't know what happened to my rat tail comb, but I'm just gonna use this little tie right here to keep my hair out the way. So. So once again, back to the curl stretch cream. You can see how I like to stretch my hair a little bit. That's what I do, pull it out, just like that. And I notice like creamy products work a little bit better in my hair than the uh, clear products. Even though I prefer the clear products, but the creamy product, products work better for my hair for some reason, like they help my hair to lay and just work better, you know? All right, and then at the ends right here, I'm gonna go ahead, once again, I'm dipping my hand in the beeswax, and I'm gonna just get the ends like that. Okay, so now I'm actually gonna twist the rest of my hair. All right. So I'm just gonna part it. I'm checking to make sure my part was uniform. It's not straight, but it's decent. It's just decent enough for this because I'm not really um, doing a That, that involves parting like that. It's just for the twist. Just did four flat twists in the back. One, two, three, four. Now I'm gonna actually do some in the middle. In the sides, just to have make it have um, more of a layered effect. to stretch your hair a little bit so that it gives it a little length. Um, also using heat sometimes will help to stretch your hair just a little bit. So a lot of people would like hair in the 4 texture for a 4 d 4 c more so 4C don't complain that their hair always shrinks. And so um, there's a few ways you can naturally stretch your hair without giving yourself a relaxer. Um, 
and burning up your scalp and stuff like that. So I could probably talk about that on another video. But there's little the things that work for me that stretches it a little bit. Not major stretching, but over time it will stretch your hair a few inches if that's what you want. And your texture will still be there. It won't be like straight. Now, sometimes my hair tends to start getting dry. So when it starts to dry out, um, I'll just add some more leave-in conditioner at the ends. Like that. And it'll help kind of keep it feeling damp or at least making it easier to work through because my hair is easier to work through when it's damp. So I just put the beeswax on the ends. Rubbing the beeswax on the ends first. And just smooth the ends down. Start from here to clean from the roots. And last but not least, I got the one in the direct middle. I'm going to just comb the ends out just a little bit. Put beeswax on the ends. Very little curl elongation cream, and then two strand flat twist. This is pretty much it, and um, this is actually a style. Well, let me. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back around and just add the 
Blueberry Bliss Jelly on her hair shaft. And I was doing it as I went, but I decided that it was kind of messy. So it's better to just do it at the end because it's like it's setting in it, locking it in. Add a little bit more. This blueberry bliss jelly is like a real jelly. It really behaves like a jelly, not a gel. Cause it's real like gooey. It's like kind of, I wouldn't even say sticky. It's, it just moves more like a jelly. So the, the wording is definitely correct for it. But I'm just rubbing it on the hair shaft. on the flat twist and that's what it looks like in the back two layers of flat twists all right now this is not my style <laughs> this is how I set my hair so you know if I have to go on the road or anything go to the store what I usually do is I'll just pin my hair to the side like this. Um, sometimes I use one of those foam bands, but usually if I have to go out, just get my bobby pin. And I'll just pin my hair out of my face. Um, and the cream will kind of disappear after a while, but that's what I'll do and I'll kind of hide it so it doesn't look so obvious like that. But it's my hair is good enough me to go out in um, until it's set. Like usually I don't go many places. I mean if I have to run to the store I'll do this and I can still walk around you know in the store and whatever and my hair looks decent <laughs> like this. Um, but while I'm in the house I'm going to go ahead and just use my little phone ponytail holder. Just to keep this out of my face, I'm going to just um, go ahead and just do this number right here. And keep it just like that. Now I'm going to leave my hair like this for the next two days. And um, once it, to me, two days is um, a good amount of time. It usually sets really good. And um, when I take my hair out, I'll just have a nice twist out. And my twist out usually lasts for about two weeks. This is my, uh, this is pretty much what I do on my, wa my wash days. Um, I always set my hair through flat twisting. For the most part, I don't braid it like that anymore. Um, I think I explained why earlier. So yeah, so this is it. Um, and it's still kind of early in the day. So my hair is just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it like this. It's just gonna dry. And so when I go to bed, my hair won't be wet or anything. I have a total of 15 flat twists in my hair, four in the front and the rest in the back. Um, I'm gonna leave my hair like this for like two days for it to set. It is the weekend and I prefer to wash my hair on the weekend. Um, Friday, anywhere from Friday to Sunday, I prefer to wash my hair. Um, but anyway, because I like to leave it to set. But yeah, so this is pretty much it. And I pretty much set my styles like this. So every time I wash my hair, I always end up setting it through some kind of twist, twist out pretty much. Um, sometimes I wear afros, but not often. Because I feel like when I, leave, when I wear my hair out, it like breaks easier. So I do like to twist my hair and do some type of protective styling. So yeah, so this is pretty much it. Let me do the 360. The shake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, my hair, my hair is not parted like real straight and that's fine because I'm not really gonna wear it parted, so it's fine. All right, so I'll be back for the next video for part four, I'll be back to show, you know, what I do when I take my twist out and how I style my hair, okay? 
All right, so I will see you on the next one.